everyone, welcome to Joe's Kitchen Capers. I'm making my husband some corn fritters this morning for a bit of a treat. So let me run through the ingredients with you and we'll make a start. So I've got a large jug and a whisk ready to make our batter in. I've got a cup and a half of chickpea flour, or besan flour, it's other name. I've got two spring onions, a small sweet potato which has been grated. We're using two eggs, I've got about three quarters of a cup of coconut milk that I'm using, some chopped coriander, coconut oil that we're gonna fry our fritters with, two teaspoons of cumin, and three quarters of a teaspoon of turmeric, and some salt and pepper. In goes our flour. Our eggs. and our coconut milk. Give that all a bit of a whisk so we can make a smooth batter. Add in our flavorings, which are our salt and pepper, our cumin and turmeric. And that's just going to rest while we get our other ingredients ready. Of course, to make corn fritters, you also need sweet corn. So I have got, there's about 150 grams of sweet corn kernels here. So I've also got a cast iron pan. We're gonna add a little bit of our coconut oil. Heat our pan up. And into this pan, I'm going to add my sweet corn. and my sweet potato. And we're just going to cook that down until the sweet potato has wilted. So after a few minutes, you can see that that sweet potato is cooking down quite nicely. We're going to add in our spring onions. and the coriander. And just take that off the heat. Okay, so our fritters are ready to serve. Before you serve them, just open one up and make sure they're cooked right through. If not, you can pop them into a preheated oven at 180 degrees for about five more minutes. Now today I'm serving these on some beautiful salad greens. I've made a fresh guacamole and we're just gonna lay out the fritters with the guacamole in between. I'm gonna drizzle with some beautiful balsamic vinegar and top with lime, and there we go. Thanks so much for watching today. Subscribe to my channel so you can get my weekly video updates. You can check me out on Facebook and Instagram. And of course, the recipe will be in the box below. 
I'd love to hear your feedback if you try them, so drop me a line and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching. See you next week on Joe's Kitchen Capers. Bye.